off in the markets. The Nifty is nearing that 10,300 mark. The mid-cap index down in excess of 100 points as we speak. And the one which is accelerating its decline on the downside is Tata Motors. Continues to trade well in the red, sub that 11% mark in terms of a fall six-year low. This after the company posted weak JLR numbers and announced a two-week shutdown of its UK plant. Rima joins in with the key highlights. And what exactly is dragging the stock lower? Rima, down 12% for Tata Motors now. Yes, um, and this is on the back of very weak demand. So Tata Motors, GLR, that's, uh, GLR has announced its September retail sales numbers and it's not looking good. The total sales are down 12.3% on a year-on-year -year basis. It's the sales in China which account for about 25% of its overall sales has fallen by 46%. North America is down 7%, UK down 0.8%, Europe is down 4.7%. In fact, in UK and Europe, uh, it's an industry-wide slowdown on the back of implementation of new fuel emissions norms. Uh, so if you see um, for uh, industry-wide retail sales are down 20% in UK while 31% in Germany. On the back of a weak demand coming out of China, GLR has also announced that they will shut down their Solihull plant for two weeks effective 22nd of October. Analysts say the capacity of this plant is about 300,000 units per annum. So a two-week shutdown is about 12,000 uh, units which will be cut down. The company has indicated that the affected employees will continue to get paid even during the duration of the shutdown. Down. The JLR statement reads, as a part of the company's continued strategy for profitable growth, uh, JLR is focused on achieving operational efficiencies and will align the supply to reflect fluctuating demand globally as required. The problem is, this is not the first time that JLR has had to cut down its supply in order to match the weakening demand. If you remember, even some time ago, the company had moved to a three-day work week for 2,000 employees at its Castle Bromwich plant, uh, which was also announced earlier. So this is the second time that the company has had to manage its supply and bring it down because demand has deteriorated so much, especially in China. Okay, all right. Thanks so much, Rima, for putting that in context. Uh, that's a 12% slide on the stock and counting.